Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Confessions. Everyone wants to confess, but not everyone wants to hear them. Today, I'm joined by two of my favourite funny people. It is the wonderful Aaron Cox. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm giving you a little clap there. And for the first time, the wonderful Aiden Jones. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's your catchphrase. That's me. <laughs> That's yeah. me. The big dog's in <laughs> The big dog's in town. What a great comedy character to start off with. The big dog. <laughs> now, Aiden, what have you got coming up in your world? What is going on? So you got What's your podcast. Going on what is for going Aiden on? Aiden Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm writing a new show called Piano Forte where uh-huh. I play classical piano and do stand up comedy separately. Mm-hmm. I hate musical comedy, but I like music and I like comedy. Great, so, you know? Great. <laughs> Um, so I'm writing that and I'm not doing the festivals this year, but I'm doing like previews. Yeah. Um, it's on my website, AidenJonesComedy.com. I'm doing Brisbane uh, and Gold Coast at the end of Feb. Great. Okay. And I'm doing a preview in Adelaide and I'll do the Edinburgh Fringe in August. So yeah. Amazing. A few bits and pieces. And your podcast as well. And my podcast, Sitting yeah. Under a Tree. If you want to hear me basically do a diary. Yeah. Uh, I've been yeah. doing it for about six years. It's got, yeah, approximately 57 listeners. So You should do it every week though for every six Tuesday, and a half years. Every Tuesday, mate. Yep. You know, listen to me. My uh, kind of dream for it is that one day I become actually successful and then people go back and they're like, how did this guy, where did he come from? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. That's yeah. the very narcissistic dream that I have for When it. did he start that dog character yeah. where he barks at us for ages? When did he start know. that? He the was attacked by of- a dog in 2018. <laughs> just in my living room. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got a podcast as well. Aaron, and we are just talking before about uh, <laughs> losing episodes. So you yeah. have you ever lost any episodes at all, Aiden? I've uh, lost eight of them. You've lost eight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never lost an ep, actually. No, I've never that's lost incredible. one. That's yeah. incredible. I have a big fear about it um, and I always wait till the episode's up and then I play it yeah. to let, get, you know, that, all right, that's up yeah. before I close the window <laughs> of the recording. I feel like if you say you've lost one, though, the people who you lost uh, the episode with, they, they don't believe it. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Was it not very funny? You didn't like it. My one, did yeah. you? Came all the way to your house and you didn't like it. <laughs> well, because I had like it's the physical uh, memory cards that I lost. So yeah. It's like, don't want to get into too much nerd talk, but it can be <laughs> yeah, like man. you can chat it could be like a corrupted want. file or whatever. Yeah. I'll let you nerds talk. No, no. <laughs> we're but chopping I, it up yeah, about SD yeah. cards over here. But the, I physically lost. I, I had someone helping me because yeah. believe it or not, I'm not great with tech. Who would have thought? Mm. But um, so I got a good mate to help me, and I put them in his letterbox, uh, like in the middle of the night. Because um, anyway, what is your schedule? Yeah. <laughs> Long story. But yeah, I'm worried yeah, about yeah. you, man. No, well, he lives <laughs> far away, so oh, I was okay. like, the the time when I got there was like. Middle of the night. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, yeah. You're like, like you're over I've got to go to the gym yeah. at 2 a.m., right? Yeah. <laughs> so I put him in his letterbox and then I message him in the morning. I'm like, hey, man, those memory cards, put them in your mailbox. He's like, nothing there. Yeah. So oh. uh, I, I won't reveal who he is, but he lives in Gosford, New South Wales. So if you oh. see. Give out the address. Oh. If you see some is, it tra- yeah. is it Trent <laughs> from Punchy? I'm just saying, if you're in Gosford <laughs> and see some memory cards floating <laughs> yeah. around, yeah. or maybe in cash converters, you know. I need them. Did you contact the people straight away and did you say that you lost these episodes with. Um, no, I'm a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been gradually telling some people, I haven't told. Yeah. And actually, um, one of them I've already just redone. Oh, with great. The guys, so. I was a little bit worried about that like, SD card sitting in the letterbox of Gosford yeah, as well. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. Well, it's, it's a little bit like no, he actually got the memory card this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, believe it or not, I haven't started doing backups either. Yeah. I'll probably add that to the repertoire oh. soon. It's but, so um, annoying when you lose an episode. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Yeah. So um, I was a little bit worried, like, oh, you don't capture that. Yeah. In the fir- when you do it first yeah. time, you capture that yeah. moment, right? You tried to redo the apps, like. Well, I did do it, yeah, and I was yeah. like, I, I don't know if it's as good, but I'm hoping. But yeah. it's like um, <laughs> through all of your yeah. impressions that you did, you just did impressions of the guests. Yeah, that would be well, fun. Well, the hard thing was like asking questions again as if it was the first time. Mm, so it's like, yeah, so can you man. tell me about this thing that I've already heard you yeah, say to me? Yeah. yeah, and then you're like, no, 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 say that shit that you said before, yeah, man. Yeah. You <laughs> cried last time. Yeah. Last time you were funny or interesting. Yeah. That was boring. Yeah, last uh-huh. time you were funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's oh. great feedback. That's always yeah, really yeah, good yeah. feedback to get. Can you, can you say it in that good way you did last time? <laughs> yeah, man. It's a bit more spontaneous last time. Yeah. I go, I know, we did it last time. Yes. <laughs> but the other thing too that, um, you know, you know, they kind of say, like, oh, careful what you wish for or careful what you joke about. Well, mm. I don't know what the exact saying is. <laughs> it's one of those. But the vibe. i got the vibe. Yeah. But anyway. The vibe of the yeah. thing. <laughs> so just be you, careful. Just gen- generally be yeah, careful. Yeah. Look but both ways before you cross the road. Yeah, yep. That's another thing. But same. the little throwaway gag I'd say after we recorded yeah. was, like, you know, when you record, you're like, good app. Yeah. I hope people enjoy it. But I'd say to them, like, 
oh, well, worst case scenario, we just had a chat. And then it's like, that yeah, actually yeah, yeah. just joking about case. that became like, oh, we did just have a one hour Dude, chat. Dude, do you know what? I I just started driving a tour bus down the Great Ocean Road for work. And uh, at plug. the start of my- I yeah. like how you added for work. You're not just- Yeah, yeah I'm not just doing it. everyone. I'm, <laughs> Let's go for a spin. Just a little kind of recreation. I would not hop in that bus. <laughs> well, this is it. at the start of my tour, you know, because you got to go, wear your seatbelts, here's the emergency exits. Yep. And I go, don't worry, we won't be needing those. I'm one of the greatest bus drivers in this country, <laughs> you know. <laughs> very lucky the other week i was in the bus in the morning it was pissing down with rain we're on the way out towards geelong and there was a crash like the the car in front of me was like a flatbed truck and it tried to break and didn't break in time and slammed into three cars oh my god and i had to hit the brakes with a bus full of oh, people shit. and then veer around the crash because oh, we would have hit them and go and everyone was like Oh my god! Like you are a good bus driver, like you <laughs> joked about at the start of the thing. Yeah, <laughs> it was. They terrifying. carried you out of there, but yeah, it was terrifying. like you know, it's move like, over Sandra Bullock. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's right. That's exactly right. One yeah. of the great bus drivers, Sandra yeah. Bullock. Yeah, yes, but I was like, yeah, man, I did feel like I can't because I forget, I forgot about that joke, and when they were like, oh yeah, that joke that you made, I was like, fuck, I do literally joke about that. Yeah. I am. That's awesome. kind of a bit crazy to joke about to, getting in a to, bus crash isn't it you don't want to have to need to use those no well. yeah now where can you find your podcast both of your podcasts um, are on all of the feeds i imagine yeah well like i said i'm not great with tech so i just give it to my nerd and he <laughs> but, um, what's it called? Called? nerd in the cage <laughs> yeah what's yeah. it called if people want it's to called it? have a yarn with me so i think it's on quite a few of those yeah um, of course it is it's on all of them um are you I use a thing called Podbean. Can I say that? You can I say use that. the you same thing, that. man. Yeah. Yep. Podbean for life. <laughs> strong platform. <laughs> I mean, Going I was strong. just asked, do you want to use this? Like, it sounds all right to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not called Nazipod.com. Yeah. So <laughs> do not use that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the speeds are incredible. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Very efficient. <laughs> it's very, it does very well in Germany. But, um. <laughs> what about you, Aiden? Where can people find yeah, yours? Yeah, sitting under well. a tree everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, all your Amazing. fucking things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll sitting. do plugs up top. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. man. That's dope. <laughs> it's fun. Don't wait people to don't know. listen in the last three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Stats that's have also, told me. <laughs> that's also good if they're just like, I like this guy. I'm just going to stop listening to Sammy's pod. Yeah, and just yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. I like one of these guests. When you get your stats back, you see a lot of turnoffs at at three minutes, yeah, 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 yeah. three minutes in, people are stopping. I'm going to try that one. Yeah, <laughs> you should do it. It's great. <laughs> now, this podcast is all about the wonderful world of Reddit confessions. Now, Aiden, have you ever have you ever been on the wonderful world of Reddit.com? Oh, I love Reddit, man. <laughs> big right. Reddit yeah, fan. Yeah, dude, yeah, big Reddit, big redhead. <laughs> Reddit, yeah, that's yeah, what they're yeah. called. Yeah, yeah. The Redditors, yeah. What about you, Aaron? Are you uh, you big? Yeah, big Reddit fan? <laughs> you know when people are very like have one exact thing and it's yes. quite like so my one thing that I'm on Reddit for is NFL the American football oh really <laughs> oh, so okay. it's quite, I don't know can't even remember how I just found I think I searched something and it brought up that yeah and then I've just joined you're a big fan I'm now oh, just arguing you with like um, yeah you joined the thread sorry you joined the thread so you click oh yeah the, yeah so oh I, that's great I, I um yeah it's very nice having like angry Americans like yeah that's not right and they're like <laughs> find out you're from Australia like you wouldn't even fucking, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You don't know about our culture. How internet people can be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're yeah. commenting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, thought, yeah. I thought that's what you meant. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, I thought you were just like following it just because you can just oh, join yeah, them. Yeah, and sorry. But you're actually commenting yeah, and engaging. Yeah, every now and then. Like most of the time I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's yeah. so funny. I didn't know you were engaging with yeah, the content. Yeah. <laughs> that is fun. I don't go as far as that with my confessions because the people who are like commenting and leaving confessions, they can be quite nutty. So I'm not oh. commenting on all of those. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> commenting online is such a thing where like I feel, if I feel myself about to leave a comment, I know I've had a bad day. I'm in a bad I'm place. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need to fucking check myself because you don't want to. It's like the sharks. It's, you don't want to get in there. Just observe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be that walk person. away. Yeah. Well, I have four wonderful confessions today from four gorgeous people on reddit.com. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Confession one comes from John. John confesses. I did credit card scams for a bit when I was younger. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not the best people, but get lost. Nice. Okay. He's defensive. I like he's on the defensive. defensive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, get lost is fun. Yeah. You don't hear get lost a lot. No, yeah, you don't. You don't. It's like you rule or yeah. hearing you rule or It's good like that, that he's clearly just fighting with the demons in his own head. Yeah. But in the open for us, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah nice. I like those um, not too harsh put downs from yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. You're, you're dead meat. Yeah. Dead meat. Yeah. <laughs> Punching your own hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing the dog wolf again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always. 
Oh, yeah, I'm not the best people, but get lost. When I was 15 to 16, I did scams. I didn't have any money at the time. So annoying for me. It is annoying. Did scams is such interesting wording, isn't it? It's like when someone, it's like going like, I did crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do hella crimes. (laughs) Instead of saying that I ripped people off. Yeah. Undercover cop, like, any guys got scams on you? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Any guys doing any scams currently? (laughs) Nice day for a scam. (laughs) In jail, they're going, he's in it for scams. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) My friends were buying all kinds of things at the time, and I hardly had the cash to buy a sandwich, and especially not a sandwich from a fancy place. Right. Just good. It's good very specific, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like not like I'm hungry and I couldn't eat, just sandwich. Just sandwich. I couldn't, couldn't buy, buy one of those fancy sandwiches all my <laughs> mates were getting. Just Sounds like he sandwiches. had a one-time experience where his mate bought a fancy sandwich and he couldn't afford one. He was like, you know what? Time to steal money from old people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's the only way forward. <laughs> the only way time, I can get this sandwich. Time to go to the Nigerian prince. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Getting a job at that age from where I'm from is hard without knowing people. I grew up in a smaller country place and for me to get a job it could take me knowing the butcher's son or if I went around town on my bike and literally handed my resumes to people. Man, he's going the dark past angle. He you is. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Sounds like a lot of blaming going yeah, on. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what I've been through. Yeah. He, he's got like straight away he's gone into the get lost and yeah. he's like starting to – but I, but I like how he's also like he, he's gone from the get lost. That's like a. But now he's trying to like now hear me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so straight away he's just like, "This is what I do. Fuck you." But now he's like, "But if you want to hear why, yeah, yeah, you'll yeah, just yeah. listen to me for two yeah. seconds." There's actually a lot of complicated socioeconomic factors that yeah. have contributed yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. my decision. It's like Breaking Bad, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly like that. That's like, how Breaking Bad started. The first yeah. episode was like, "Fuck off." Yeah, yeah. but I'm doing scams. He's like, "Yeah, I make meth." Here's why. <laughs> My son's disabled. <laughs> As if I would be seen doing that. So I think he's just embarrassed to hand out resumes. Yeah, that yeah, right. I'd rather not have a job at all. I don't think you're stupid, but you're going to have to read along here. What? Real defensive. Wait, what? I don't think you're stupid. I don't you're think gonna... you're stupid, but you're going to have to read along here. What does that mean? So he said the last, it doesn't really make sense. The last sentence is, I'd rather not have a job at all. I don't think you're stupid, but you're going to have to read along here. So I think he thought that he lost us somewhere there. And he's like, I don't think you're stupid, but keep up. (laughs) He's so, he's so insecure that he's writing this stuff and imagining people's attention (laughs) waiting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Looking out the window all of a sudden. I like how he also, he's like, you know, he's like trying to paint the, the, the sort of economy of his town. Like it's really hard to get. Plus, I just don't want to get a job as well. I can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't be bothered yeah, with a yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Handing out you know, resumes makes me feel like a dork, so yeah. I'd rather not. <laughs> I had a friend who were doing CC scams, especially mm. Ben. We don't know who Ben especially is. But ben. <laughs> especially Ben. Especially, <laughs> especially, especially Ben. Especially Ben. Some of them were kind of do it, but Ben was committed, you know. <laughs> ben was good at it. Yeah, yeah. And I started doing it since I thought it's not that bad since the victims get their money back from their banks. Oh, okay. What's a CC scam? Credit card Credit card scam, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he started using terminology like yeah. that, and especially Ben, like we know of the situation. Ben, yeah, he's suddenly in. Yeah, Petty Crims love to say it's all sweet. You know, it's I, all remember, sweet. I remember Boy, um, Petty when, Crims. when we'd nick stuff, like people would be like, they built it. They yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all good. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. stealing off the people. They've got I'm insurance. stealing off the fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just stealing off the man. <laughs> I did half priced food orders for people when I was 15. I did it on and off for six months and made not a lot of money. I stopped doing CC scans, but then COVID happened. I was off school for ages and I discovered a glitch on a CC website. The glitch allowed me to get free CCs. I just love it calling it CCs now. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just taking notes. This I'm isn't sorry. corn chips, is it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a corn chips. He's eaten lots of corn chips. Yeah. I had stopped credit card scamming, but my logic was that the cards are already hacked and on the site, so it's inevitable that someone is going to use it with his logic. Might as well be me, Yeah, man. that's right. Got to yeah. get my cheddar. Why not me? Got to get my cheddar. I thought I may as well steal the CCs of the hackers and resell them. I made at least one thousand dollars per day doing this. Right, and, and here's how you can <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. comment like below. One Don't take this one trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enough money for me to do whatever I wanted to do. Enough money for me to live my life exactly how I wanted, provided I didn't want any international travel. Don't know what that right. means, but yeah. oh, because the he doesn't want to doesn't want to get caught. Doesn't want to get guess. caught, and yeah. he's obviously going to have a criminal record. Have too many sandwiches. Yeah. Eat so many of those sangers. Yeah, <laughs> I feel so bad. I didn't. 
I did this shit and I feel like my life is ruined and I can't stop thinking about it. I DK, why I did it, I feel so stupid and I never do something like this. Now I'm 22 years young and I would like to know exactly what the fuck I do now. (laughs) So funny I'm even worried about this. But can I make it right? It is so funny he's worried about this. Now you've got the wonderful people on reddit.com. Love to comment. Yeah, okay. So this would be you, Aaron, on on reddit.com. So you've got Gregory the Magic Man writes, Ah, I wish I could make all your problems disappear with one stroke of the magic wand. Oh. I cannot. Wait, did it? What was his username? Sorry, <laughs> it was Gregory All the Magic Man. Right. So he's he's. I'm, I mean, I want to focus on the problem guy, but <laughs> yeah. this is this interesting guy's like magic is like his identity. Magic is his whole. I'm the brand. Magic Man, and he's like obviously I'm the Magic Man. I have a magic wand. <laughs> I would love if that would be you know I could wave it. I cannot. I can't. I cannot can't wave in it. this case. Not for CC scans. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Obviously. And it's the, the, the comments you're going to get, I, I imagine they're either one way or the other. Yeah. So you're going to get like, yeah. you're a scum. Yeah. yeah. Like, Good on your money. Yeah. 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 There's like, no one in the middle on the yeah, fence. There's no there. like, no. look, I don't know. Like, yeah, so yeah. It's a gray area. There's like. no one nice that's going, hope you're doing okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you Okay, I cannot. You have to do this for yourself. CD Magicians. There's a lot of magicians commenting on this for some wow. reason. CD Magician writes, mm, I know just the trick doesn't say anything more than that. That's the end of right. it. Right. He knows about CC scams. <laughs> he knows about it. And you got Magic Titan writes, for my next trick, I will need to laugh my way to the bank. I don't know if that's them being funny. Yeah, or sure derisive about, or we're what. We're not sure about this point. But what would you do, uh, Aiden, in a situation like this? If you were John, you did this when you were 15 or 16 years old. Yeah. What well, no, I, I think it's a really interesting person because he's 22 yeah. and I was through the thing trying to calculate his age, but then he gives it for us. And he does sound like just a kind of young man yeah. who's a little bit uh, – I guess tormented by the things that he's done, but sure. he's admitting them. He's thinking about them. Yeah, but he's still so young that he doesn't have the perspective. Like he's not owning his mistake. No, really, no. he's attacking us. Yeah. <laughs> Read along. And along. you know what? That's very familiar emotionally yeah. to me. You know, like when I was young, I was. I think I was struggled with my own shit, and I would lash out at people. I just, it sounds like he needs a hug. Yeah. You know? It sounds yeah. like he's just like, man, you're 22. Have a you holiday. You did some weird shit when you were 16. <laughs> yeah. What's that about? He's never allowed to go overseas. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> he must have done some other shit. <laughs> Maybe if he can't go overseas. Shit. But like, yeah, dude. I mean, it's nice that he's posting on Reddit. I hope he finds maybe that is the precursor to finding someone who you should talk to about sure, that. You know, maybe yeah. he's trying to reach out to anyone. Yep. And then eventually someone will go, hey, man, you know there's people who train to be the person that you talk to that they can give you advice. It's called yeah. therapy. You wow. pay a bit of money for it. Yeah. Hmm. Go get some fucking therapy, brother. That's Speaking all. losers do that. Speaking of scam, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> He's just mucking around over here, having a bit yeah, of fun. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, yeah. we're talking about legal scams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. What would you do, Aaron, in this I'm situation? I'm going to be bombarded by therapists. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, guys. <laughs> That's settle down, if settle that made down. you too upset, maybe go see a therapist. Yeah, maybe go see your fucking therapist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, would you do? No. <laughs> what would you do, Aaron, in a situation um, like this? Sorry? What would you do? Like if you were if you were John, oh. would you think you need to come clean over something like this? Um I guess it, it's it seems like it's it's the guilt is weighing him yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. It's like a release of yeah. to let people know. But yeah, like I said before, he's, he seems very defensive. Very defensive. Like he's come out firing like- Oh yeah, he's come out like, kicking. Yeah, <laughs> like, all right, buddy, you're telling us what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like he wants the best of both worlds. He wants yeah. the guilt off his shoulders, but he also wants to be like, now who are you to judge me? Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Who's yeah. next and who's yeah. next, yeah. Could, could you, and this is just, obviously probably can't do this on the podcast, but like- go into his, you know, user profile yeah. and see what other comments he's posted or stuff he's posted in other places. Yeah. Because yeah. that gives you an idea of his character. Who he really is. You could is. go in there and maybe that's the only thing that he's posted. Like maybe he's been thinking about mm. that and he's decided to do it. Or maybe his history is just a litany of attacking people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is just one breadcrumb in the trail to like who's this person. And, and who what, he really you know? is. What, yeah. if it, what if it could be, I mean, most of the profiles are anonymous, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If it could be like a trap, like like that undercover. Oh company. yeah. Hey lads, anyone done any scams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's so an undercover Mikey you inspector. Could be, yeah, you could be <laughs> like Mikey a, inspector. Yeah, yeah, you touched on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like um, that's a good one. You know, you're like uh, what do you call them? The sort of fraud investigators, yep. anti-fraud department. They could be like trying to work out ways of 
someone go, yeah, yeah, oh, this is what, how I do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh, maybe that's good. the way is to be like, say, be so proud of having done a scam, but the scam that you present is like full of flaws and people are like, you fucking yeah. idiot, you can't yeah. do that. Yeah. you got to fucking do this. And yeah. 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 He goes, really? Yeah, Say more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> Look, John, John like, just be this is John. how I did it and now this is why I'm on my tropical paradise island. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's like, <laughs> I also think um, the fact that he's 15, 16, having done this, and he's 22 now, he's clearly got a bit of a moral compass. Yep. He's also quite intelligent to yep. have done CC scams <laughs> and talk about them in such a flippant way from such a young age. I think he's got a bright future ahead Yeah, of him. I think he does too. Maybe in kind of government. Can't you leave know? the country, but he can work in local government. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just don't do a check on his background. Yeah. What's something where uh, corruption is required? Like. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. Maybe in the fucking Liberal Party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got him a beauty. <laughs> Let's move on to the next confession today that comes from gorgeous Tess. Tess confesses, I use garlic and onions in a meal when I was strictly asked not to. Whoa. My stepmother-in-law won't allow my father-in-law to eat anything with garlic or onions, not even garlic powder or onion powder. I guess we could have guessed that already. Yeah, but anyway, okay. <laughs> she claims that it hurts his stomach. Wow. So whenever they're in town and they come over for dinner, I refrain from using garlic or onions, which is frustrating because I use those two in just about everything I cook. Uh-huh. I love garlic and love throwing around onion. Yes. I don't even know who knows. I don't even care who knows it. Wow. <laughs> okay, no, cuz she's piffing them at people, throwing them around nonstop. <laughs> Cook with them, babe. <laughs> Interesting. I, I do I detect a, a small note of defensiveness in this one. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, go, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. care. She, I put onion and things deal with it. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Renegade. So, I, what up? <laughs> yeah, I cook with onion. What are you going to do? <laughs> we can tell she fucks. Oh, yeah. She fucks. She fucks <laughs> hard. What was the start of this again? Sorry, oh, what, so what what are the relationship to these older people to her? My step Mother in law doesn't know my father in law. Step mother in law. Oh, so no. she's married to, oh, I guess, their This father. is kind of a yeah. mushroom lady. It is, yeah, yeah, it's exactly like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a little backstory about my step MIL's cooking, she makes the blandest food. Uh-huh. Throw a major shade to her. Yeah, man. <laughs> Once we went to her Thanksgiving dinner, she cooked the turkey around noon, cut it up, and had it around three, and no one was allowed over until about 5 p.m. By the time we arrived, the turkey was called AF and drier than the Sahara Desert. The woman just doesn't know how to to make a tasty meal or doesn't know about the Sahara Desert. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know know. if that's, yeah, doesn't know, doesn't know. Yeah. Anyhow, my father-in-law visited us once without his wife and I made chicken breast with garlic and onion oh, seasoning. You naughty girl. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he Behind loved her it. back. Yeah. That's a massive sleigh. <laughs> and he loved it. He loved and it. And she wasn't Didn't even... Didn't even ch- hurt his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and now he comes around all the time. And I'm like, this, I don't know why I'm making this sexual... <laughs> In my mind, this is like, you know, some kind of uh, analogy for like a sexual relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's really... Uh, it's Really interesting as well to just go with it as well and make it, even though you know it could really harm yeah. him. Like just yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened to him after he ate it. He told me that he can eat garlic and onions if they're cooked, but for some reason when he's around his wife, both of those ingredients are not to be used. They visited before Christmas and we planned a dinner at my house. My SMIL made it a point to call me to remind me not to use garlic or onion. She's obsessed with this. Wow. She also called my hubby to remind me not to use garlic or onions. Jeez. She called them both. Yeah, called them both. Wow. That pissed me off. She writes, oh, that pissed me off. That pissed me that off. That pissed me man. off. She makes him want to put onion in more. <laughs> <laughs> I was so annoyed. <laughs> like when someone goes, do not go in the, the Don't touch the red cupboard. Yeah. 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 You want to do it, it more. Yeah. <laughs> Do not put onion in. I was so annoyed that she made it a point to remind us to not use two ingredients after years of her constantly reminding us. That night I cooked the chicken breast with sage, rosemary, thyme, garlic and onion powder. Both of them loved it. In fact, they commented on how juicy the chicken was and how delicious it was and they'd never tasted anything like that before. Oh, wow. Yeah, bitch, because your shit is bland. Oh. <sighs> Very rude. Oh my god. Also, neither of them got sick. Do I need to tell either of them what I did? This now, is so exciting. <laughs> so exciting for her. This is her whole life at the moment. We got the wonderful people on Reddit love to comment. So Cassie Foreman the Grill writes, You have done one of the worst things you can ever do. Seek help, bitch. <laughs> 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 Seek, Seek help. <laughs> ne- never mind funny business. This has upset me. 
And then wow. you've got Red-Headed Witch writes, good luck. If they die, and I hope they do, this is on you. Oh, my God. So funny to be like, and I hope <laughs> and they I do. I hope they do to wish death on this someone else so brutal. as a retribution for the other person. You. Yeah. It's sarcastic, aren't it? No, I hope so, yeah. but we don't know. Well, red, I mean, red lipstick, the witch. I don't yeah. know. I don't know so much. What would you do, Aaron, in a situation like this? If you, Would you be telling people if you used all that onion and all that garlic? Um. Well, like she said, they didn't get sick, so that's an important thing, yeah. right? But, yeah, like, like I said, it feels like there's that temptation if someone's like, do not do this. You're feeling like, why yeah. are they... Especially if, yeah, yeah, like... Um, I'm I'm all, I'm okay with it. Yeah, you're cool with it. Yeah, yeah you're cool with it. Ed? Yeah, I'm cool with it, yeah. man. I've I think that that you've done one of the worst things you can do. That's so funny. That yeah. she's just there's a whole bunch of other stuff, and she's like, don't put shit in someone's food when they say not to. It's the worst of all things. But you know, I, I've learned something from driving the bus, right? <laughs> about being right because she just wants to be right. That's yes. what it is. Yeah, 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 she yeah. wants to tell them, hey, by the way, I did this. Fuck you. You're yeah. wrong. Yeah. It's like when you, uh, well, like driving on the Great Ocean Road, one lane each way, and there's, it's, some of the roads are quite thin. The bus is big. And, um, <clears throat> on the Great Ocean Road, because it's so windy, sometimes other cars cross over the double white line into sure. your lane, right? Mm. And in that moment, when I see him having done that, I'm annoyed. And you would be like, you wouldn't be wrong to just stay where you are in the lane and just let them hit you. Sure, right? sure, sure, You'd sure. You'd be right. There'd be a crash. Yeah. People might die. And you'd be able to be like, you crossed in the lane. Fuck you. Yeah. You're wrong. I'm right. But don't do that. People might die, but you're right. Is just, that yeah, yeah, just move out of the lane a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Be the bigger person. Be the bigger yeah, person. Yeah. And, you know, for the – so in this situation – yeah. In this situation, she's made the great meal. Everyone's enjoyed it, but she's still, it's not enough for her. <laughs> no. She needs to throw it back in their face. Yeah. And I think what you need to do if you actually just care about the people in your life is not tell them. And then you can use garlic every time and it's all good. Yeah. And everyone gets to be happy. And all that happens is you don't get to be right. And if you need to be right more than you care about the people around you being happy, then yeah, seek help, bitch. <laughs> seek help, bitch. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Well, it's also yeah. that it's that grey area of what is technically right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's right in that no one was sick, but she was also asked not to do it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. definitely several done something wrong over several years. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. then, like, independent. Also, I mean, this mother, stepmother in law, which is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's weird. so weird. You know, yeah. it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what is right? If someone's like, this would make me happy if you please do not do that. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's not very. She's not like uh, showing adaptability, is she? Like, yeah. she could have tried to cook an incredible thing without onion and yep. garlic, and yep. maybe discovered a whole new thing. Because some people are allergic to onion sure. and garlic, you and, know? and she had every right to assume that they were. Yeah, and still went. I'm just going to push this a little bit. Yeah. It's like a cat just slowly yeah. pushing something <laughs> off the. <laughs> like, if someone doesn't want to do something, you can't be like, "See, I." I secretly put it in and you're it's fine. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's that psychotic to do that. Yeah. Yes. And now I guess she's going to bring it up to them. I feel like Tess is the sort of person to now bring it up to them and go, oh, see? She's fully going to bring it up to them. Stepmum? Stepmother-in-law? Yeah. yeah. See, uh, step M-I-L? Step M-I-L. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she calls her all yeah, the time. Yeah, no yeah. name, just step M-I-L. Step Mill. Now, we've got the next one today that comes from Marianne. Now, at the end of this, I will ask you if you want to cast one of these as a major motion picture. So keep that keep that in mind. You've got Marianne. Marianne confesses. I fooled my entire family into believing that I was graduating college. Oh. When I was a teenager, my father passed away. That same year, my sibling moved away to college and my mother began dating somebody new. This was extremely hard for me as a child and I recall feeling completely alone. My mother began inviting her boyfriend to sleep over at our home and I told her that I wasn't ready for this and she decided to start sleeping over at his place. I just lay awake at night just knowing they'd be having sex. Uh huh. That's a nice. weird thing to lay <laughs> lay yeah, awake yeah, at yeah. night thinking about yeah. <laughs> your step your stepfather in law. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> your step step Phil. Step Phil. <laughs> I lost a significant amount of weight from not eating properly, and one day I didn't feel so well at school. My aunt picked me up from school and asked me what was going on, and I told her I confessed everything to her. My aunt and uncle had a very stern talk with my mum. Fast forward to college, my mum told me that as long as I was nice to her boyfriend, she would pay for school. During my junior year of college, I became really over school. Just over it. Just can't over happen. It, can't happen. Just can't over happen, it. Man. I'm just over it. Yep. 
I didn't even know how to tell my family, so I lied a bunch and played along as if everything was fine. Good. Smart. I even convinced one of my friends to pretend to be a lecturer and talk to my mum and tell her how I was doing. Oh, <laughs> yes, man. Classic move. A Classic beautiful move, absolutely. web of lies. We love it. <laughs> Once graduation time came around, my mum began planning a party for me and invited all our friends and family. It's next week and I don't oh, know if I should tell her. Fuck yeah. This is fun. Man. This is fun. What do you think in a situation like this? Aiden, what would you do, or Aaron? What would you do in a situation like this? You're going to have to tell the truth at some point. I feel like yeah. you might. Unless it's you like, can stage you use your degree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you stage a whole ceremony? Can you just yeah. go ahead? Well, this is pretty intense because yeah. it's like a – it seems like a like a, a, a huge lie. Yeah, a massive lie, and they're pretty yeah. deep into it. So, uh, uh, look, you could you can fess up mm. and then with the qualifier of like – this is why I felt like I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just like, I didn't just do this to screw with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I was going through some yeah. tough you, time. Well, you're known for a stitch-up. Yeah. You know, so could you play it off as a stitch-up? Is this too big for a stitch-up is what I'm asking. Well, this sounds like it's from America. What's their version of stitch-up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gotcha. the, the TV yeah. show Punked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Punked. Ashton Kutcher gotcha. comes yes. in. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, beauty. Um, Punked, you paid for a degree that I actually didn't get. Yeah. 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 Suffer. So I wonder where the mum is paying for this because if she's is she paying the school, do you think, or is this money going directly to yeah, her? Well, she's like, yeah. I'll pay for the fees. That's the thing. There's there's the lie and then there's the all the logistics. Yeah, of yeah. Where were they going when they said they were going to class? Yeah, and yeah. How long's it been happening for? How close are they to getting their degree? Yeah. Are I'm they planning on going back? Because I got yeah. um, one of my like long time ago. I got fired from this apprenticeship I was doing <laughs> carpentry. Like nice. So not long out of school. Yeah. But I didn't want to. tell I was still living with my parents. I didn't want to tell them. So yep. like, eventually I did. But for, the, for like the first three days, I'd get dressed, leave. For and a whole just day, go and sit at the park. Oh wow! For a whole day, yeah. Oh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm just rough. talking about living the lie. And you were just actually, building yourself up wow. to like. It eventually. actually becomes difficult living a lie of like, I'm doing this thing that I'm not. Like, yeah, just like get dressed. Yeah, just go and sit at the park. And then you're just trapped. You can't even just go back home and like, yeah. you know, make some food or whatever. No, you know? like, you're sitting You're there. spending money because you're out of the house <laughs> trying to buy food and shit. I think I just gave up after three days. Did yeah, you? Did man. you tell your parents? You just. I think I did. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Would well, you? Would you suggest the same thing? Do you think this is a good thing to just sit yeah. down with your parents and say? Well, that's what I'm saying. With it's, your mom, anyway. It's a, it's a heavy load constantly lying yeah for yeah. most people unless you're a compulsive liar <laughs> yeah 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 so Some yeah it, it. it might be a relief for them to tell i guess yeah yeah man it, for the first half of it she sounded very reasonable she was like i was feeling like like it sounds like she feels that all of her family have just kind of abandoned her yes yeah and that was you know very coherent what she was saying they this happened and this happened and i felt like this and then i told my my auntie and uncle yeah and yeah. they had a chat with my mom i was like this person you know compared to yeah. the last two seems <laughs> very normal and reasonable <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she's just built you know out of nowhere just built a kind of life of lies <laughs> which is sad yeah i don't she's got to tell him she can't have him. the party there's yeah. no way no, you can't go through with the party you have the party when was this written by the way this is a few years ago wow so, was like, so yeah, are there any are there any comments from people after the weeks run out is there any updates there's not there's no updates there's, there's no, no updates. edits yeah. so maybe she oh, i shouldn't joke about that <laughs> 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 maybe she killed herself maybe she just went, it's well, too you, hard you can't <laughs> you can't want fairy bread that much you know to yeah. go ahead with the party i think yeah. you know if you're doing fairy bread your mum's got you know some big la la cola yeah. <laughs> whatever LA LA Ice Cola. I know about that one. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, because if you go through, the temptation is to just go through with the party and be yeah. like, I'll put on a brave face and then just draw a line under it. Yeah. And that'll be the last line I tell. But there's yeah. no way. There's no way this yeah. is going to happen. It's Someone not offers well. you a job at the party. Oh, Uncle Darren's here. Yeah. He works in that field. He's got a job offer for you. The yeah. interview's next week. Yeah. You Bring your degree architect. along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it's not going to end well. You need to fess up yeah, to this one. Yeah, you need to fess up. We've got a short confession next, and then uh, we'll end on the, the final one. So you've got confession four is from gorgeous Nathan. Nathan confesses, I once stole a tip from a bartender to drink more. <laughs> I was at a bar having a good time with my brother, 
having literally such a good time. Literally. Literally. It's literally. Such a good time. Such a good time. Such a good time that I only had $2 left in my pocket. Whoa. Oh, that's well, a good time. That, that's a good time. We don't know how much it's like. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know when there's only two bucks left in you. <laughs> Depends what you started with, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't know any of this. Started with three. nine bucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when my brother was leaving, he left a $10 tip. Oi. I took his $10 and put my $2 where he was sitting and two more beers out of it. It was over 20 years ago, but something I feel still bad about <laughs> Holy <today>. <laughs> fuck, man. What Yeah, happened? but 10 bucks back then. That yeah, was a lot. Yeah, was yeah you could buy a house. Yeah, you could yeah. buy a house today. But, so, well, you know, there's a bit of a, being Australian. Sure. The, the whole tip topic. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we've kind of, you see it here a bit, but it's like. It's not huge. You're not expected to do it. Whereas yeah. over there, it's I'm a assuming whole thing. this is America, right? Yeah, yeah, it's part of their wage. You know, like it's yeah, part of yeah. you know, how they're earning money. You just made a, a a waitress be homeless. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Should should he go back now with his um ten dollars? Oh, and and, and later, modern money with interest. Modern money with interest. That'd be like thirty seven dollars. Man, <laughs> <laughs> man, what's like? You know, I mean, it's interesting. I'm, you know, slowly kind of coming to grips with the concept of the podcast. And I guess these people's confessions, it's all around shame, right? It's just people going and sharing their shame. Yeah. And how, like, that can't be the most thing that you feel shame about. Like, I, 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 I feel like shame is just a thing that exists in you and you find things to attach it to and sure, justify sure. it. You go like, I feel bad. Why should I feel bad? And if you're the kind of person that kind of has a lot of shame or whatever, you know, you're like, oh, that's the thing. You go fishing for stuff in your yes, life to kind of attach yes. it to. Yeah. And so, I don't know, man, where's it 20 years? You haven't done anything worse than steal 10 bucks yeah. off a fucking bar? Yeah. Like, it's just guilt attached to it. Yeah. But there must be something else There must done. be some other shit in this person's life that is making them feel like that. Yeah. What I'm else s- crook shit you done? That's yeah, what we want to know. What kid did you kill? It's, it, is you very, it is like super tame, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Even it's like, it wasn't even just money that was there too. It was like the money had come from someone who was with. And it's yeah, your brother. Yeah. Like it's not even, yeah. Your what's brother's, really going on? Yeah, we want to know what's really, really going, going on, on yeah. in there. This just made me think of, and I, I, I'll i admit to this, like when I was like 18 or 19, uh, I was at a nightclub. I had no money and I wanted more drugs and I was sitting on a step next to the toilets and a girl went into the toilets and left her phone on the step and I took her phone and gave it to my mate and he gave me two pills for it. Oh, wow. So I stole her phone yeah. for two pills, you yeah. know? Yeah. And that's worse than this. And, like, <laughs> I feel fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Pussy. You better put that on Reddit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could put that on Reddit. You could be on the next episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, 20 years is a long time to go by and still be thinking about this one thing. Do you think just drop it, just leave it, or go back to that bar and give give them and say, 20 years ago I did this, yeah. I just want to make things right. That's got to be it, man. Or yeah. tell your brother, you know, if you still feel bad about it like that. And he goes, I only had $2 left, and he goes, it was a good night. Yeah. yeah, that was he, a good night. Yeah, you were broke. <laughs> <laughs> he drank by himself. Yeah, I think was so. It? He, he got drank two by beers himself. for ten dollars, and, put it across, years and walked out ago. with his two dollars still in his pocket. Yeah. He's still carrying. Maybe it's that. like a Fight Club situation. There was no brother. There was no brother at Whoa. all. Yeah, that's Dude. good to think about for the movie. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen Fight Club, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> put the spoiler after the spoiler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got the final confession today that comes from Gorgeous Max. Max uh-huh. confesses. This is a bit of a fun one. On your Max, Gorgeous Max. My whole entire life I've always stared at people <laughs> that's alright I'd do it rather you were doing something to attract attention to yourself or not I'll stare at you Whoa. what you guys may misunderstand about this you might think I'm staring off into space about something and accidentally stare at someone nope that's not the case I'm actually present and just staring at them here's times I do it in public when I'm walking past someone I'll stare at them I always look at everyone walking by me instead of looking straight or not at anyone. In school, I'd always stare at my classmates around me. Now I graduated high school and now I'm staring in the workplace. Staring, Just staring the work- at the workplace. He's taking his staring <laughs> Just into death other death. Yeah. new I like areas. how also he's like, do you think I outgrew this? No. Yeah. <laughs> I still do it. You think I'm a better person? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll stare. I'm still, oh, don't I'm worry, I'll stare. Life. I'm going to stare as soon as I finish writing this message. I'm going to get yeah. back to it. Yeah. One every staring competition I've ever been in. I'd stare 24-7 if I could. <laughs> I stare at my co-workers at lunch, walking past them and their computers. Here's something else. When somebody sees has a profile picture of themselves, I always look like I zoom in on it and stare at that. 
Oh, wow. He's staring online. He's staring online. online. He's taking it. Sometimes I like to screenshot the image and have it for later to stare at. Wow. I go back at it in my gallery and stare at it every now and again. I recently met someone. I love staring at her, but I don't know if she'll feel it's weird if I tell her that I love staring at people. Oh, my God. Do this I is, need to tell her I love to stare? This stare is bear. real commitment to the stare. Yeah. <laughs> I've never met a this real guy life stare bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this guy stares. I love Some people say they stare, but this guy. <laughs> this he guy really Well, stares. because, I mean, I don't know if this is maybe uh, uh, this is making me think about my behaviour. I walk down the street, I look at someone, yeah. but then you look away. Yes. You have shame. Yeah, This yeah. person... Do they stare the right way until – do they turn their head? The person yeah. walks past and they're still Direct staring. Direct eye contact. I yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. committing to it. He's committed and he's yeah. not afraid to connect with someone. Like maybe there's going to be some – you know, maybe some well, people is, don't like it. This is why I hate public do. transport many reasons, but <laughs> you've got to look somewhere right and then yeah. there's just this whole sort of like – was I looking at them for too long? And yeah. Like, head, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy's admitting he, he loves a, a <laughs> just good loves sticky a good beak. Stare. Yeah. yeah, he's a real stare bear, a real sticky beak. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this guy. I yeah. think don't stop. I think keep staring. Keep staring I think forever. Commit to it. Yeah, and and just you know, eventually you're going to find some real connection out of that. I yeah, reckon. he's met someone who likes him. She probably likes. That he stares, you know. She probably <laughs> yeah. loves. She probably like it's. it's yeah, so but that's cute. it. It's case by case. Yes, because there's going to be a lot of people don't like. Oh yeah, yeah. fully. But you just got to weed those people out of your life. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of them. They're weak. They're weak. They're cowards. Yeah. <laughs> Never break the stare. Yeah. Because she might be like, "Why are you always staring at other people?" Oh, that might be the thing. That might be the thing that maybe he's worried about. You can only stare at me. I wonder if when he stares, does he blink? Or is it an unblinking yeah. stare? Yeah. Just the driest eyes. I mean, if he wants eyes. to buy a ticket to my show and stare. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He can stare for he 50 minutes. He, he wants to, like, stare at my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe stare at my let's, let's try and find this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Good a good audience member. Numbers, you know? yeah. like, <laughs> he might have those glasses with the eyes on them. You know, the eyes kind of yeah. painted on. He oh, might have yes. those. So he can stare while he's asleep. Tell he me more. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Tell I'm me swear. more about this interesting topic. <laughs> At the end of that, we've had a few gorgeous confessions from some lovely people. If you had to cast one of these as a major motion picture, which one springs out the most? You've got the final one, Max, who continually stares at people. You've got Nathan, who stole a tip from a bartender. You've got Marianne, who tricked her whole family uh, into pretending that she was graduating college. You've got Tess, who used garlic and onions in her SMILs uh, <laughs> meals. And you've got uh, John, who did CC scams. I, I think in terms of what would make a movie, yep. the CC scams would, because it's got that 90s hacker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember when the 90s, like a hacker thing was yes. really big? Like yes, the all hacking thing. the mainframe, I remember. Yes. At the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also got a bit of Guy Ritchie, you know. Like, yeah, a little yeah. bit like quick cut. Yeah. Oi, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you're right, Governor. That yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a little CCTV scams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could make it a thriller as well. That could be yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Who would you want to cast in the role? So you got what you want, like a Jason Statham yeah, type. Statham, yeah, Statham. Um, <laughs> and we could superimpose like his his face on the kid as well. So it's always Jason Statham. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get a younger actor. We just always <laughs> you use just get Jason, Jason Statham's he's just face. This 15-year-old's yeah. just shredded. A lot of those British guys, you don't know who they are, but they pop up in everything. And yeah. Like Vinnie Jones. Sort yeah. Of yeah. Vinnie, Vinnie Jones. Jones. Yeah. Vinnie oh, Jones. yeah, Vinnie man. Jones would be fun. We totally. Can get Vinnie Jones. Yeah. yeah, like, you scamming me. <laughs> you scamming me. I can't do accent. Like, <laughs> you proper scamming me, eh, governor? Like, <laughs> Oh yeah, that yeah, would be but, fun. Yeah, him, but then with the nerdy friend of like fucking who's the guy who played uh, Zuckerberg in the Social Network? Oh Jesse Eisen. Yeah. Jesse is it Jesse, is it Jesse Eisenberg? Eisenberg? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. as like the nerdy friend who like teaches him about the scams, you know? Right. And Statham's like standing over him, going yeah. like, "You got to fucking teach me this stuff." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First, you get the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> The CV, what is it on the back? The yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Three little digits the CV. On the back. CV fucking what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's having trouble with yeah. it. He's learning. He's the getting first half, angry. The first half is him having trouble with the CC <laughs> scan. punches a wall. Yeah, he gets I mad. I can't get me head round it. <laughs> it's all a bit too confusing for him. Yeah, okay. So it's a really confusing movie at the start. <laughs> he's learning. It's a bit of a DIY. And then the pace picks up. Yeah, the bongo. The, the like... Bruh, 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 Stars, yeah, you know? yeah, nice. So I do feel like that's got the most um, the most potential for a movie because the other ones are just like 
She puts young in and what now? Or yeah. Well, I, I actually really liked the drama of uh, revealing at the party that you're not graduating, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. And how that, that works. That's the second one, yeah. Yeah. The other is, ones are all quiet. You can't really yeah, see. Yeah. These people are just, you know, get over it. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these people, it's just figure it out, yeah. man. So you've got to build it up. So you've got to have someone who's quite likeable, I think, in yes. that role. To, and you could do really like the, um, you know how... This is probably an outdated reference now, but like when CSI was big, they were doing the zoom ins to like, you know that. Oh, the long zooms where they actually zoom through things and, and like, and they'd go into like, the, like into the atoms um, and everything. Yeah, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, into yeah. the DNA. Yeah. So it could be like she adds the onion and then it goes in and oh. you see it. you see the DNA of the yeah. onion. They're interacting with each other, yeah. the chemical reactions and stuff. Yeah, Fuck, and that's be like, sick. And yeah, then it goes into the stomach. Yeah, like, man. And but nothing happens in the stomach because yeah, they're not yeah. actually allergic and to then it. You just go. <laughs> Solved it. And the tense looks at the table like, yeah. Wow. She'd be like watching, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting if they go to the bathroom. Any real it. thriller, like, yeah. yeah. yeah that's fine. Jason Statham could call also it, be in that. He can play the, the DNA. Yeah. Every DNA has like a Jason Statham face, just all all swirling a voice. around in a yeah. pot of oil, <laughs> getting mad about something. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. Okay, so yeah, so all of those could easily be filmed. Like yeah, this, I imagine. No, yeah. I, I really like the idea of the um, yeah, the the lady revealing to her family and the movie. Movie sets up that there's because at the start of that she seemed like a normal person, sure, so like very likable, yeah. And I think in the setup to the movie, it's all happy families, and the whole movie takes place over the course of the party, yes. And they're all getting ready, and you think at various times that she's about to reveal it, and yep. the tension builds, and then you know at some point someone cries, of course, and there's like a big like a hug thing, but it's yep. never really resolved. We find out about that we're all flawed and human, yes. Maybe yeah. someone else has been lying, you know. Everyone's yeah, I'd, lying. I'd like Everyone's to see been how lying. different directors. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scorsese could be like real gangster, like you're the fucking onion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Coen Brothers have all these weird characters. Coming yeah, in and, and Wes Anderson for some reason. Yeah. In the yes. Could we? Could we do that? Because you know how they had that film where I think it was Bob Dylan, the story of Bob Dylan, and they had all these different actors yep, playing yeah. Bob Dylan through his different life. People playing could, the onion. Could we? Could we have? Different could we have different people directing <laughs> different parts of the film? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, because that could be fun. Quilt yeah, of a film. <laughs> yeah, really hard to follow. because yes. there's so much going on. Yeah, they didn't Especially even the read the other person's bits. No, you know? yeah, yeah, it's like a, a story that someone else adds a sentence and someone yeah, else adds a sentence. Yeah, that's true. It's choose really hard to adventure. follow. It's choose your own adventure for the film the whole time. That's mm. fun. I like that. Well, the end of that. Thank you so much for joining me on the podcast, Aaron. How do people find you and every wonderful thing? You um, do? yeah, online, Facebook, Instagram. Aaron Cox, look yeah. it up. YouTube, I don't do much on YouTube, but yeah. You're on and TikTok? Yeah, a little bit, not much. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too old for that, but um, <laughs> just makes me feel super old every time I go. <laughs> but yeah, um, the podcast, Have a Yarn With Me. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Um, Emu War movies coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Dude, that was so yeah. sick. Also, yeah. you crushed at the premiere on stage. Oh, thanks. You were slaying, man. Yeah. I, I, was, I was like... A lot, a lot of people hate that stuff. I love it. I oh, do. <laughs> what stuff? Like, what do you mean? What? It was like a Q and A. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, while the movie's filming, I'm like, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really, like, you were yeah, planning. Like, like, yeah, you, thinking of my lines. Like, can you yeah, tell us a bit yeah. about the Emmy Award? Because it was, was it shot as a web series? Was it originally? Yeah, yeah, man. It's been a crazy. It's been gone for a while. It's been a really it? long journey. Seven yeah. years. Seven, something like oh, that. Oh shit. Okay. Right. Eight years ago, we did this up near Bendigo. We filmed this little thing that we called a. A trailer, but it was never meant to be a movie. It yeah, was, as a with you and Damien Callanan, was it? Yeah, 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 and a lot of different comedians. Schuster, and then, um, yeah, uh, yeah, it was pretty much Jonathan Schuster's baby. Um, with Jay Morrissey, Jay Morrissey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Lisa so, Feinberg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a, Saying there's all these as questions just to make sure they are involved in it. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it's been a long journey, so it was a, it was a web series. And then they went, effort, let's make a movie. I yeah, think, great. I think it was effort, whatever. Effort, effort. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then so last, a few months ago, there was um, some screenings. In yeah. Cinemas, which was awesome. Yeah. But now is the process of what comes next. I saw Schuster at a yeah. Yeah, bar the other night and he was telling me all about it. And then yeah, so the yeah. premiere is happening pretty soon. Is it in March or something? When is it? He told me May. So okay. <laughs> no, 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 well, well, you're definitely right. One of the end months. Is there a different premiere? Because well, we went and saw the one in Monster Fest. Yeah, was that, like the that's premiere. What, that's what I'm saying. It was a very small release of like. Yeah. Um, there was two in Melbourne and all the other capital cities. Yeah. 
But now there's the behind the scenes stuff going on where they're trying to. Oh, and they're actually going to give it a big release. Yeah, yeah we're hoping to instead oh. of just give it away. Yeah, yeah. Because that was the old sort of model. Yeah, yeah. I was talking yeah. about distribution and everything, yeah, yeah. and it'd be quite hard, I think, to get it out. It's yeah, like the cinemas. Yeah. So it's like oh, finding yeah. out how to do that. Oh, oh that's well, so exciting. They won the main award at the film festival that it was in Monster yeah. Fest. Yeah, you know? yeah and I was um, stoked to be in a movie. It was fun. So yeah, but yeah, yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Yep. Hell that's yeah. Right. yeah. That's me. I'm done. That's that's very. No, I hard recommend on that. I, everyone who was in it did so well. That's I so thought good. it was really, oh, thanks, it was such a thing that you could see like kids, like 18, 19, 20 years yeah. old, you know, watching mm. that, smoking a bit of weed and watching <laughs> that and losing their minds because yeah. the, the humor is like nothing else yeah. has the same, the tone that that is. It's like all these, you know, people in Melbourne comedy that we've known for years and they got something made yeah. that is so true to their, you know, humor with their mates. They didn't compromise it. It's an amazing achievement. Yeah, I and really it's, it's a good it. true story as well. Oh, like that's it's, it's right. It's such an interesting story. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think with, with a little bit, what do they call it? Like creative life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think yeah, literally yeah. Schuster in the Q and A was just like, I reckon we read the Wikipedia article once and then just started writing this Great. movie and never checked anything. Yeah, that's what Tarantino <laughs> does. He makes up his endings all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Aiden, how do people find you and your podcast and everyone? Uh, everything that you do? I'm Aiden Jones Comedy on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, that's my website, AidenJonesComedy.com. Uh, my podcast sitting under a tree. Um, my best thing that I've done that if you really want to kind of see what I do, I've got a special uh, on YouTube called Taco. Yeah. And it's about how I met my Colombian biological father for the first time when I was 28. Um, my mum was backpacking in South America, came home, found out she was pregnant. That's me. And I met the guy. It's called Taco because that was my nickname for years because when I was 15, the first girl I ever kissed thought I looked Mexican. Um, <laughs> And I wanted to. So kiss it could her. have been burrito. Yeah, it could have been yeah, anything. It could mate. have been anything. I, I was like, I want to kiss you. You call me whatever you want. I don't care. Um, but yeah, that's an hour special that was released on Amazon Prime worldwide in 2022. Um, but it's up on YouTube for free. Great, and people can watch that. That's the best thing that I've done. Yeah, amazing. Well, thank you so much, Aaron, for joining me on the podcast. Thanks, Thanks guys. <laughs> thank you, Aiden, for joining me on the podcast. <laughs> thank you for having me, brother. <laughs> Good night, Australia. <laughs>